say hi. Attention. <laughs> Hey guys, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am going to Prague for a Filipino diaspora dialogue. So I will be meeting Filipinos in Prague Embassy for the first time. And also on that day, I will be meeting my friends for the first time and we will be exploring the entire Prague city so hope you guys will enjoy this video and by the way thank you for those who are subscribing us but for those who does not yet please subscribe and it will really help us a lot thank you so much and i appreciate your support and i hope you'll enjoy this video stay tuned so <laughs> they don't know how to cook rice guys so this is their best seller and I must admit that this is delicious. So guys, here in Prague, um, the Philippine Embassy is just 5 minutes to walk from the train station. So from the train station, I was walking and here it is the Embassy. So if you have something that you need to do in the Embassy, so it's actually like uh, one walk away from the train station. This time, I'm gonna meet my friend Darlene. <laughs> so she's right there. So I have to cross and check properly. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <Hi. laughs> I will meet another friend, Ruby. The very beautiful girl. <laughs> the very beautiful and sexy girl. Hello! Ang cute natin! Ang liliit natin! Uy, mas madami maliit daw! Si Mela din! So we guys, we got free foods from the embassy and Michelle got bihon, lumpian, I don't know what's up, embutido yeah? and I have kare kare with rice and kare kare with rice say <laughs> hi uh, average hi to Filipinos Uy, above average tayo um, we sneaked out <laughs> the event was not done yet but we decided to to like end it and explore Prague center for now so oh, for Czech viewers, it's not surprising that we have the same height. It's 160. because <laughs> 190 centimeters. <laughs> yes. In the Philippines, it's very small. <laughs> We're above average, okay? Yeah. 190 centimeters. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, we are above average in the Philippines, but we came here in Czech and we are the smallest. The shortest, I mean. One of the most interesting facts about Czech Republic is that if you will travel um, Prague, especially Prague, you can see huge architects or huge architectures about um, their churches. And so guys, I, as I have mentioned earlier, that they have so many churches, like huge churches with um, so many religious structures or architectures. Like like this one. This, this is actually a church, and yeah, it's a very huge. And this one too. Like all of the most most of these structures and designs are actually like related to religious, especially Catholic. But it's um, it's opposite because Czech are not religious. There are only thirteen percent of Catholics here, 
and there are really uh, there are only small amounts of percentage of other Christians and majority are atheists or always say that they don't have any religions yeah it's like priest something I'm not sure but uh, yeah again most of the architects architecturals and designs here like related to churches especially oh. Catholicism but <laughs> still like odd because people are not religious yeah, after com communism, like communism really tried to wipe out all Christianity here yes. in the Czech Republic. But if you would go to other uh, country, like the neighboring country, for example, Poland, it's like they're very religious. Religious, there. yeah. Uh, yeah, Poland, a lot of Catholic churches. Yes, yeah, I agree. I saw it. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> That's interesting. There's also Kalesa. We have like that in the Philippines. And we call it Kalesa. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Gwen. She's looking around. She's jumping. Very high jump. Very high jump. Wait, one, two, three, Yo, yo. Flex on your. Apa do? Baka ma. Manunu. Manunu sa punso. Wow. Walang amoy. So this time we are going to metro station because we are planning to go to the center of Prague by metro. Bunker. This is our bunker. Oh, what's that? We go to Palladium first. <laughs> what's Palladium? Palladium. It's a center. We're going to Palladium, but I'm not. I'm not sure what's in Palladium. Palladium is a center. Center. Yeah, shopping center. Oh, shopping center. <laughs> window shopping. <laughs> yeah, window shopping. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking for a CR because we're buying I don't know what we touch makeup. So window shopping at players. Wow! <laughs> it's our princess. Yes. I remember. How much? <laughs> so our bunker <laughs> sponsored us a ticket. I'm not sure how to. Aha, okay. Thank you. I have anxiety of escalators. I don't think that's happening. Wow. So it's our first time here, me and Darlene. Then this is our tour guide, Michelle. And Melanie? No, no. no. Melanie, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like upgrade Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for the is it tram? Huh? Like a tram? Train. Tram train. No, tram it's metro. 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 So So we are in souvenirs. what's this? Souvenirs marketplace. Yeah. So you can buy any souvenirs you want. So I have chocolate for the bag. Yeah. Our jewel recent accessories. Nice. So you want to try these fruits? What try na? Oh, minsan lang naman kayo pumunta dito. Thirty nine, may thirty nine. Thirty nine lang naman palaire. Kaya yung boxing yun. Isalang kaya yung boxing. Pag hati hati na tayo. 
So how much? <laughs> 500. How much? 42? For what? What is that? How much? Call it? 431. Please, I'm not going to No, it's it's it's. All right, now we are in the astronomical clock in Prague. And this astronomical clock in Prague is one of the most iconic um, clocks in Prague. And there are actually three astronomical clocks in Prague, which is located in Prague, in I guess in Brno and Olomots. And the astronomical clock in Prague is the third world largest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest astronomical clock that is still working up until now. So as you can see guys, there are so many people here because this is actually the area where people are gathering, especially for tourists and people really want to visit this area to witness the most amazing clock in Prague. So this is very beautiful and actually very huge. So guys, this time we are planning to visit Charles Bridge. Right now we are in Charles Bridge and fun fact that Charles Bridge was originally a stone bridge and it is the oldest bridge in the Czech Republic that is connecting to Vlatava River and this bridge were actually built as an honor for King Charles King Charles. That's why now it's it's um, well known as uh, its name as Charles Bridge, and so many tourists are coming here because of the interesting designs and architectures, and you can really see how like the rich culture and the rich um, natural resources in the Czech Republic, especially about lakes and rivers. So yeah, it's very enjoyable here. I am Gandanyan there are names here guys like if you're a couple and you want to make a promise for yourself your relationship so you can buy these locks and put it here so it's actually nice this is this is the Charles Bridge and it's connecting to Vlatava River you can rent your own boat I mean you can rent a boat and have your tour for the entire um, lake or for the entire river yeah, that's, it's cool we want to try the ice cream here in Prague at Pietro Gelato it has this unique place oh, and salted things so, so they have salted caramel vanilla raspberry anything that you want chocolate cases brownie pistachio and I guarantee you guys, these are freaking delicious, <laughs> right? <laughs> so here's our ice cream. <laughs> right now, we are accompanying Darlene since her bus is at 5 p.m. So we are, to tr we are trying to catch her bus and we are planning to go home already guys. And my train will be 5.30 p.m. So we have to make it on time. So I would like to say bye to the girls as well guys because my train is at 5.30 and I had to walk for 20 minutes from here. So I hope I can make it on time. Um, Girls, pupunta na rin ako kasi oh, sige, 5.30 yung bus ko, 20 minutes from here and going there. Oh, sige, sige, yeah. sige. So, oh, ate ko na lang ka. Oh, sige. Thank you so much for the time and say bye. Bye. Ingat. So, today guys, actually, it's hot in the Czech Republic. It's 30 degrees here in Prague. But, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video today. And... If you like this video, you may click the like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for supporting and thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Bye!